Northern Minnesota lost a legend last week when Senator David Tomasoni died from ALS. His funeral was held this morning in his hometown of Chisholm. Senator Tomasoni was a staunch advocate for the Iron Range and one of the most well-liked senators at the state capitol. Here's an excerpt from his farewell speech at the capitol this spring. I guess the ultimate culmination came with the passage of the ALS bill earlier this session. All of you have been a part of that and it would not have gotten done without the support of each and every one of you. But I have to give a great big shout out to my kids for taking care of me in this last year or so as they have gone above and beyond taking care of me. My sister, Mary Jo and her husband, Richard deserve the same thanks. So many people have stepped up to help and I am eternally grateful. So Mr. President, members, thank you for accommodating me today as well as all session long. 30 years went by fast and I wish my successor all the best. Thank you very much. And joining us now to talk about the life and legacy of David Tomasoni is former state lawmaker Jason Metza, a good friend of the senators. Jason, thank you for being here. You were a good friend of the senators. You were at the funeral today. Big crowd. It was a beautiful event. Lots of people, uh, all walks of life. Uh, we could have practically and uh, probably literally done a special session uh, while we were there. And uh, <laughs> one of the messages from the senator was to pass the bonding bill uh, at that yeah. at funeral through his son. And, and beautiful he, event. He put 30 years in the state legislature. What legacy does he leave Minnesota? You know, what I, what I can speak to from, from my perspective as someone who was just so fortunate to serve uh, with him, you know, we had uh, President Riot here tonight, and, uh, you know, I, I think education would be first and foremost on my mind. They passed Iron Range Engineering, he and, he and Rukavina, two names that kind of mm -hmm. go synonymous with Iron Range right. politics. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's made a huge difference. It's an accredited college for our region. Uh, but David did a lot of behind the scenes work. Every session, he had a, a, a little card, and I brought this today as a prop. David, <laughs> um, I'll keep it a little more full than I have it tonight. Uh, but every day, there would be a priority list really? what he was working on. And it was always for making people's lives better wow. and trying to bring things that might not have been realistic. He might have overpromised a few times and we figured out a way to work on those issues together and deliver for his constituents. And that's what he was all about was delivering for Northeastern Minnesota. You yourself spent time in the legislature. How did Senator Tomasoni influence you as a lawmaker and as a friend? You know, friendship is the first way I'd think of them. Uh, you know, in, in many regards, you go down there and it's a lonely place as a young person and he really just took me under his wing and I couldn't be more grateful, uh, you know, for the time uh, we spent together in that regard and the gentle nudging. Uh, Carly and I, uh, Malene, mm -hmm. were hugging this morning and remembering, uh, you know, all just the wonderful times where we were like thinking we knew what was right and David was just kind of like nudging us in the right direction to get to a position where we could actually strike a deal on something for our region. Mm -hmm. And he was always a teacher, uh, you know, led by example. And when I think of servitude leadership and someone that just is selfless and putting themselves out there for other people, it's well, Dave. What was it about him that caused others to give him such great respect? you could sit and argue with the guy about anything in the world you wanted to. And whether it was on a television program like this, on the house floor, in the living room, or at the bar back home, uh, casual conversations with friends on a pontoon, David was gonna be the guy to put to aside that disagreement at the end, because he stood up for what he believed in all the time. And that's, I think, you know, something a lot of people uh, forget sometimes. Mm -hmm. And he, he never lost those values and, uh, he could always have a laugh with the after. You know, mm -hmm. that, that laugh was just infectious. I was talking with his son, uh, Dante and Danny today, and they said, if we ever lost dad in an event and didn't know where he was, they said, just <laughs> quiet down. We'll listen <laughs> and we'll hear. And, and, and that respect went across the aisle. 
It did. Um, it I, did. I read a quote from one Republican senator who described him as someone who had no enemies, only friends. Yeah, Dave, Dave was the guy that uh, y you didn't build a bad relationship with. If you were in the room with him, you were laughing, you were having fun, uh, and his positivity was infectious. Mm -hmm. And there was a great friendship between him and Tom Rickovina. Yes. Um, talk about that a little bit. Color so, colorful characters. Yeah, uh, I think a good story, uh, which I didn't know if I should tell or not, uh, being on television, uh, was kind of my entrance into politics and the way the two of them operated. We had a large event for, uh, at the time, presidential candidate uh, Hillary Clinton. And we changed the location of the event the night before because Virginia had a morning paper and both sure. the guys thought it was a good idea. So I ended up letting the press know. Uh, we just didn't let their campaigns know. So we were getting calls from Washington. Both the guys kind of hovered in and really came around and just said, you know, it was the right thing to do. We got to get our people out, get them excited. Because every election to those two was the most important election. Both guys believed so much in the power of getting out and voting and it, it, it was just really touching to watch him and then go get to work with them. I need a short answer to, he gave credit to a lot of others. He didn't always take the credit for things. What does that say about him? He was selfless. You know, uh, there's so many trails. When, when you think of David Thomasoni, you might think hockey, you might think, uh, you know, mining, Iron Range politics, uh, some of the staples there. But any trail system you're riding on had his fingerprints on it. Uh, he was just a guy who, uh, at the end of every year, really liked to pull out that thing and sure. show me, uh, hey, I got something in every single bill this session. You can't do that without building good relations. And with that, we have to say thank you very much. Jason Metza, former Minnesota state legislator, good friend of Senator Thomas Oney. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.